Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I wanted to uh, explore something that a couple of commenters brought up um, in my previous videos. Um, I did an unboxing uh, of this particular Klein light. I really like this light. I think it's a very well designed light. Um, USB uh, rechargeable, plus you can power your own device. Um, like charge your phone with it. Kind of limited charge, but you can do it. Um, it's got a uh, battery indicator here. It's got a couple of settings um, with its uh, uh, 10 LEDs. There are five on each side, so it gives out a pretty good, nice balanced light. It's got an excellent uh, design. I've discovered for um, uh, its ability to attach <clears throat> and sit, you know, kind of come uh, in, in useful different directions. But uh, the question that arose was, what was the battery inside it and was it replaceable? Could you fix this if it no longer worked anymore? Um, and the answer, well, it's like everything else. It's, it's, it depends. First of all, I doubt that the battery is going to give you any trouble in the service life of this thing. Um, that it literally can't remain in very good condition um, simply because you're going to be using it a lot if by the time the battery runs out. Um, it says it's got a 3250, 3,250 milliamp hour, you know, basically a third of an amp hour is the battery that's inside this thing. And this is the Klein Tools 56403, um, kind of an area light. It's not a spotlight. Um, but um, I have a couple of them because I, I like them. I use them a lot actually now. And so what I did is I used a T9 Torx to pop off the screws on the back, but then I had to pry it up. And that's where these iFixit um, uh, kind of... Um, bit sets and um, repair sets really come in handy. I use these uh, quite often for a lot of uh, uh, electronics repairs, definitely worth their weight in gold. Um, in this case, I needed the, bit, the small bit set, the driver, um, and the uh, pry uh, bar, the small nylon pry bar to, to break the seal because there's an O-ring in here. And this is actually what it looks like finally to, you know, you want to see the opening here. Um, so it's got an, an um, kind of a recessed area here. I'm going to dump out those screws if I'm not careful. So a recessed area here that fits over this um, kind of integrated o-ring um, or, or rubberized seal and that's to maintain its um, IP rating. Uh, and inside, as one commenter posted um, in response to another commenter's question, what's the battery? And this looks like an 18650. And an 18650, the way you can tell, um, it's going to be a lithium ion rechargeable battery that is 18 millimeters wide. Um, just a guess coming up here. Uh, about there somewhere. Yeah, it's close to 18 millimeters wide. One lap and plus eight. And then that's the 18 part and the 650 is 65. And if I uh, got to be careful here because I could short this out because this is a metal connection here and I'm dealing with some voltage here. So I got to be a little worried. Um, 65. So uh, is it 6,000 or 65? Yeah. So what we're dealing with is an 18 wide and a 65 long. And um, that means six centimeters and a half, basically. So that's what I'm seeing here. Now, that's what this battery is. Could I, could I swap it out? Well, that's where I said it kind of, it depends. And the reason I say it depends is because this has been sealed in here um, inside this unit with some sort of a, um, I don't know if that's a silicone or some kind of a sealant, uh, probably to improve the connection and keep it uh, water resistant should there be some ingress. Um, so yeah, if you cut it out and then reconnected the edges, um, looking at this, it looks like what's what they call a flat top battery. 18650s, um, like 
a lot of different batteries can come in both um, the size that has uh, a bump on the top and the size that is flat. Um, so this one, this one here would be considered an 18650 flat top battery. And this, this here has the, uh, um, the bump positive connection. Oddly though, neither one of these is actually the uh, 65 millimeters. In fact, this one's about uh, 68. Um, it's longer. And it's got this little bit up here that actually probably contains some sort of um, uh, electronics that are tied to the object that this was originally designed to fit. In this case, um, a specific factor flashlight. Um, this one was designed for an LED Lenser headlight. LED Lenser is one of Leatherman's uh, companies now. And you can see that there's actually some bumping up here on the, um, on the plastic kind of coating that they put over it. That is extra. So 65 actually comes to about here. Um, to about this point, I can set this at 65 and then look for where that, that is, so about there. So this is extra up here that is um, taken up by some other circuitry by the company that built this thing. This one in here um, is about exactly 65. So this does, if I hold one of these up, like this, this factor battery, it's actually longer than the 18650 that's in here. So this is like a raw 18650 cell. These are specialty cells designed for, for particular uh, lighting in this case um, that include the extra material at the top. Sometimes there's a USB charging port. Uh, it may have um, thermal protection, overload protection, um, or some communication protocols for the device that uses it. So yes, this takes an 18650. You no, know it's not a quick swap out. Yes, you can swap it out by cutting this free and putting a new one in. Are you gonna need to? No, I don't think so. By the way, here's a comparison of the 18650 to a, uh, a AA Energizer. Um, so you can see the 18650 is quite a bit more powerful, quite a bit larger. Um, this is a 3.7 volt versus a 1.5 volt. In fact, these are usually about 1.2 or 1.3 volts um, once you move to some of the non-alkaline versions. Um, but anyway, this is a, in answer to a, um, a couple of viewer questions where they were dialoguing back and forth. So I thought I'd crack one of my uh, Klein lights open and um, address the topic. Otherwise, this looks rock solid inside here. The circuit boards seem very well mounted. It does look like it's got um, uh, just excellent reinforcement, good cable management. Um, there's a magnet in here probably to smooth the flow, um, the electrical flow to the LEDs. I mean overall this is just a rock-solid light and cracking it open to me only made it better. So good job Klein. Yeah I know they're made in China but um, they definitely seem to be very well designed, put together, solid uh, for years of service. Um, and yes, if you wanted, you could replace the 18650. So that's my answer to uh, the viewers uh, and the commenters. Thank you very much for considering some of the issues that I, I may bring up with... Uh, my tool reviews, and uh, I appreciate the dialogue within the comment section. So, with that, Doc out.